This sale required a custom box. Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue. Welcome to our channel. We sold on eBay a Star Trek chess set in the original box. However, we don't ship in the original box. It needed an additional box to protect it, and so we had to make one. So keep watching here, and we'll show you how. This Star Trek chess set that we found at Goodwill sold for $45 plus shipping. I'm recycling this eBay box where I ordered some 6.5 by 8.75 padded envelopes for this Star Trek Next Generation chess set. As you can see, the box isn't wide enough, but we're going to take care of that. To reconfigure this box, or any box that you want to reconfigure, we need to find the center point of two opposing panels. With this box, I'm going to use the shorter sides and find the center point. In this case, I want to change the width and the depth. So I'm picking the side panels. By doing this, the front and the back of the box will retain its original width plus, plus now, half of the side panel width. In other words, if the box is 12 inches wide, and 6 inches deep. It's going to be 12 plus 3, 15 inches wide and 3 inches deep. On the two opposing panels, find the center point, draw a line, including the flaps, and cut the end flaps. Remember, don't cut all the way through. Make sure you have a cutting board in the middle. You know, we drew this line on the outside of the box, but if you can get to the inside of the box and draw your lines, I highly recommend that you score it from the inside. Because this box is so long, I've chosen to score this one on the outside. Rotate the box and on the opposing side panel, repeat the process. Find the center point of the width. Draw a line from the top to the bottom, including the flaps. And score along the line. And make sure you cut the top and bottom flaps open and insert a cutting board before you do so, so it doesn't cut all the way through. This next step can seem a little bit tricky, but you need to fold the box on the new lines that you've drawn. The lines that you've drawn, the lines that you've scored, you need to fold the box on those lines. And you may have to work with it a little bit, but it can be done. And as you're folding on those new lines, you slightly rotate the box, and voila, you're reconfiguring the shape of the box. Pretty cool, isn't it? And you can see that you do end up with some new flaps, but that's okay. Tape will take care of that. After checking for fit, we were able to use half-inch large bubble wrap to wrap around the boxed chest set. We used a combination of large half inch bubble wrap and small bubble wrap to protect the box. And in the description below this video, you can find links for all our packing supplies. And for packing the item inside the box, we prefer to use masking tape because it's cheaper than packing tape. Using some scrap cardboard, we created corner protectors and, and taped a corner protector on each corner. Oops, almost forgot my thank you label. It fits great into the box that we created and all those flaps get taped down. And tape, tape, tape. So now we've recycled an old box, reconfigured it. It worked great for the Star Trek chess set and in the mail it goes. If you like these kind of videos, we appreciate a thumbs up. I invite you to like, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. I'm Vicki with Avante Avenue, and Mark and I will see you soon.